the Great Wall of China is a famous landmark in the world. It was built over centuries to protect northern China from invasions, and it's still standing today. The Great Wall of China has become a country symbol and is deeply embedded in Chinese culture. It's surrounded by myths, legends, history and folklore that have been passed down through generations. The Great Wall of China is an amazing structure that borders northern and southern China. There are many stories about how it was built, but it is believed that it was constructed during the Qin Dynasty in the 3th century BC. The wall stretches over 8,850 miles, and its overall height is 21 feet at its highest point. The Great Wall has been an important symbol of unity, peace and hope ever since it was built. It has also become a cultural icon for China over the years. The Great Pyramids of Giza stand as a landmark for all humanity. Not only as an icon of antiquity but also because they represent the standard measure of time in the world. It is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Great Pyramids of Giza are a series of three pyramids near Cairo, Egypt, built as funerary, ceremonial and symbolic structures. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the oldest and largest pyramid in the world. It is also known as Khufu's Pyramid or the Pyramid of Cheops. It is unclear who constructed it as there are no written records from that time. It was originally covered with smooth white limestone, which gave it a shining appearance, but now it has been exposed to air for centuries, and most of the limestone is gone, so it looks more brown than white. The pyramids of Giza were built in the 3rd century BC. They are located just outside of Cairo, Egypt. The Great Pyramid is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. The Great Pyramids were tombs for three pharaohs in ancient Egypt. The Great Pyramids were originally built to serve as tombs for pharaohs, but now they have become an essential part of world history and culture due to their sheer size, beauty, and age. The Taj Mahal is one of the most well-known and widely recognized landmarks in the world. It was built by Emperor Shah Jahan, who wanted to honor his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a white marble building set on a stone platform. The base of the building is square, and the rest of it tapers up to a dome top with four small corner towers. There are three sides that showcase intricate carvings and inlaid decorations. The fourth side looks out onto a garden that has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Taj Mahal is the most beautiful building in the world and is one of the most iconic tourist destinations. Every year, around 10 million tourists visit the Taj Mahal. They can appreciate its beauty through its pure white marble facade, which is exquisitely decorated with carvings and inlay work depicting different styles of flowers, vines and geometric patterns. The Colosseum, located in the heart of Rome, is one of the most famous landmarks in the world. It is an elliptical arena that was used for gladiatorial combat and other public spectacles during Roman times. It is a popular tourist attraction for young and old alike. The site has been gradually revealed by excavation since the 16th century, and now it can be seen in all its glory with its marble-lined exterior and hidden underground rooms. The Colosseum is an ancient Roman amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome. It is among the most famous buildings in the world, and its architectural design has had a great impact on other buildings around the world. The Colosseum is also an important symbol for Italy, as it represents classism, power and entertainment. The Colosseum attracts around 2 million tourists annually. It was included on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1980. The Statue of Liberty is one of the most well-known landmarks in New York City. It is composed of copper and light greenish patina, which gives it a unique glow. The Statue of Liberty is a historic landmark, it is 151 feet tall, stands on a pedestal that is 154 feet tall and located on Liberty Island in the borough of Manhattan, New York City. The Statue of Liberty is one of the most famous landmarks in New York. It is a symbol of freedom and liberty and has witnessed many historical events. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886. 
It was commissioned by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi to represent the values shared by America and France, liberty, equality, and fraternity. In 1865 Bartholdi had been inspired by American artist James Prang's painting, La Liberté Éclairant le Monde, Liberty Enlightening the World, which became the statue's official name. The Statue of Liberty is a landmark that has been held in the hearts of Americans for generations. It has also become an icon to the world. The Big Ben Clock Tower is one of London's most popular tourist attractions. It was completed in 1859, and it is still standing strong. It is located on the north bank of the River Thames and houses the Great Bell known as Big Ben. The design is exemplary of neo-Gothic architecture, with its many faces surrounding the central bell tower and its ornate carvings depicting scenes from English history. The Clock Tower, or as it's more commonly known, Big Ben, is the most iconic landmark in London. From the idea of a clock tower that would be big enough to show up at a distance to the concept of having a bell that could be heard across London and beyond, this building has been such an integral part of British history and culture for centuries now. We can find Big Ben standing tall on the northwest side of Parliament Square. It has been described as one of London's most famous landmarks and attracts visitors from all over the world. The Eiffel Tower is an iconic landmark standing tall in the city of Paris since 1889. It was built as the entrance arch to the 1889 World's Fair. The tower originally had a height of 300 m and was later reduced to its present height of 324 meters. The tower is made entirely out of iron and steel and has a span of 12,500 square meters on its two levels. Its design was inspired by the use of tension structures. The tower has three levels plus an additional observation deck on top that provides views over the city. The first two levels are open to tourists, while access to the third level requires a separate ticket. The first level is 379 feet high and features various exhibits on French culture such as paintings, sculptures, and furniture. It is one of France's most popular destinations attracting over 7 million tourists every year from all corners of the globe. Sydney Opera House, one of the most iconic landmarks in Australia, was designed by Danish architect J. R. N. Utzon and was built between 1957 to 1973. It was the first building in Australia to win the prestigious International Design Award, the Pritzker Prize. The iconic building is situated on Benelong Point in the south of Sydney Harbour, overlooking the Royal Botanic Garden. It is a performing arts centre with multiple venues, located right on the shore of Sydney Harbour. There are several performance spaces, bars, restaurants and cafes on site. It has become a popular tourist destination due to its architectural significance and proximity to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Sydney Opera House has been drawing visitors for the past 50 years and it is still a popular tourist and local site. The Golden Gate Bridge is a United States landmark and a tourist attraction. It is a type of suspension bridge, and it connects San Francisco to Murray County. It offers stunning views of the bay, the San Francisco skyline, and the Golden Gate Strait. The bridge was completed in 1937 after construction started in 1933. In 1964, it became part of the National Register of Historic Places. In 1987, it became one of the American Society of Civil Engineers' historic civil engineering landmarks. Central Park is one of the most famous landmarks of New York City. It was created in 1857 and has remained evergreen since then. Central Park is a central location that many tourists visit in New York City. It is open to the public 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It has 843 acres of trees, lakes, lawns, and pathways for people to enjoy. Central Park offers many attractions for both tourists and locals alike. It has an ice skating rink, lakes with rowboats available for rent, tennis courts, bridle paths, hiking trails and lawns for picnicking. 
The park's northern edge is adjacent to Harlem, while the southern edge borders central Harlem. Central Park is the most visited urban park in the United States. It spans 843 acres and gets around 25 million visitors annually.